What's up guys, it's uh, Larry, the mortgage guy, sales disruptor, and uh, the topic of this video is repurpose or repurposing, okay? And uh, I'm gonna make this video a little bit longer than normal. I try to be making uh, make them the two minute videos. This one might be more like a three or four minute video, okay? And I'll tell you why at the very end. <laughs> so, I'm going to, actually I'm gonna tell you why now, and I'm gonna show you how it's gonna work later on. I'm going to repurpose this video, meaning I'm gonna make three videos out of this one video, even though it covers the same topic, okay? Uh, so the first topic I'm gonna talk about is digital assets. Digital assets are uh, things that you uh, create or save and store so that you can use later on uh, for the purpose of reusing it, right? Like a meme, when you download a meme, because you saw a meme that's funny, and you post it later on in another thread or a group or on your, your page, you are repurposing that meme. That's a digital asset that you're saving that you're using again for future purposes or whatever. Uh, a very popular repurposed uh, digital asset is the Michael Jackson picture with the popcorn. It's probably one of the most used memes I've seen in threads. Uh, so that, that is a digital asset that people save and they're using later on. Uh, videos that you make, those are digital assets, especially if you upload them and you have them stored somewhere and then you use it to share again uh, at a later date or in a later conversation. Uh, if you follow me, I actually demonstrated this uh, when I asked the question, um, what's the most confusing part of the mortgage process? And people started responding and they started giving me what they felt was the most confusing and I used that as an exercise to see how much I have covered in terms of the mortgage process. And I started tagging or, or sharing the videos I've already made. I used my digital assets that I made, I don't even remember when, months ago, and I answer the questions using those videos okay now those videos of course they're not edited or whatever so some of them are horribly long whatever but the whole point is that I was able to recycle and reuse the digital assets I already had okay so create digital assets save digital assets and keep them in a place where you can access them easily and you can uh, you know reuse them in future for future purposes okay uh, the way I do it is I actually, depending on the topic or information, I have a separate page. So if it's a motivational thing, I have a motivational page that I save my motivational stuff on. If it's something about mortgages, I have a mortgage page that I save it on. If it's like a funny meme, maybe a racist meme, I have a racist meme page that I save those at. And those become my storage, uh, you know, I guess storage units or whatever you want to call it for my digital assets that I can access later. Okay, so that's what I mean by digital assets. Now, when it comes to uh, repurposing, uh, basically what you're doing is you are taking a digital asset and reusing it or maybe even cutting it apart or editing it or whatever if you notice you see this video right here the way I made this video I did it on purpose because this blank space right here I plan to put information here like uh, you know what subtitles or captions or whatever so I actually film these videos on purpose the way I do so that I can add information here okay that is in a way repurposing this video so right now I've already created this video I created the first video about digital assets and I'm talking and I created the second video on how you can repurpose a video like this okay so I'm gonna make videos based on whatever topic I want to talk about and I'm going to store them and eventually I'm going to reuse them or I'm gonna chop them apart and edit them and add things like a caption like I would right here okay and if you're watching the edited version of this, you will see the caption because I'll put it right here. Ding, right? Okay. So the third part of this video, which is gonna be my video number three, is when should you use digital assets or what kind of digital assets should you create? Well, it depends on the topic or the conversation that you like to have. You know, for me, I like to talk about social media. I like to talk about mortgages. I like to talk about sales. So I have, uh, different types of digital assets for those specific topics. Uh, these videos that I create in this group, uh, I use it as kind of a storage <laughs> for my digital assets. So if you notice, I've been making a lot of videos, almost daily, and 
Uh, some of them are long, some of them are short. The long ones I plan to chop up and repurpose, and the short ones uh, hopefully are good enough to uh, make live after I add some captions and whatnot. But that's why I create these videos. Number one, to entertain you and help you, hopefully, but number two, to store my digital assets for later use, okay? Uh, and you bet your ass, I've gone into this group and I've downloaded a video and I've edited it and I shared it to someone else already, okay? Uh, so this group uh, is my digital asset. It's a storage place for me to store my content that I plan to repurpose and use, okay? So there's your three videos. One, digital assets. Number two, uh, how to create digital assets or what kind of digital assets you should have. And number three, how you should basically manage your digital assets, right? Uh, and you know, even though I plan to make three videos, I'm not going to introduce myself all three times of the three sections because all I have to do is cut the beginning where it says, Hi, I'm Larry the Mortgage Guy, your self disruptor, and put that at the beginning of each of my three videos I create. Okay, that's what it means to repurpose and edit and store digital assets. Hopefully, you guys got some uh, value out of that. This is Larry the Mortgage Guy, your self disruptor. I'm out.